The Dagger of a Betrayal Artifacts, exclusively to Forge of Light, but one of the artifacts that myself and honestly many other content creators have actually assumed could be a meta-defining artifact, even for the free-to-plays. So let's check this out. I've done a bunch of testing. Let's see how good the Dagger of Betrayal actually is. Hello guys, yes, smash like button and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Mr. Sneaker, the one and only official Call of Dragons content creator. And we're here back at it again with the Dagger of Betrayal, the one and only new artifact with a combination of a few others, as you guys know, that was added to the Forge of Light event. And the cool thing about this artifact, it is under, <laughs> under I think, appreciated because people don't understand how powerful this thing can actually be. B. because the thing is when you're looking at the buffs and how it is increasing you can see you are upgrading as you can see the damage factor of this artifact but one other thing you are also doing which i never noticed before was at level one you will only display one buff but while you are going up guess what you're getting two buff effects from this effect so it's really good that like the more you know um, upgrades you have the less debuffs that you need to remove the more damage you're actually dealing right so it's a really cool artifact and i'm not gonna lie guys eight second cooldown level three 200 rage you'd be surprised on how much damage but how often this is obviously up right so what we're going to do is go over to my mail and what we've got is a load of different types of duels that i've done and we're going to check out quickly the footage of those duels and obviously the mail report and break down what this dagger is doing for all of these different matches in the game and welcome to the report section and we're going to go down each individual one of these as well and showcase a little bit of footage of us dueling and what we were obviously trying to achieve so all you guys got to know is we are trying to figure out what debuffs this thing can do so for example in this matchup here we have madeline goward and obviously madeline goward and the cool thing with these heroes is, as you guys know, you get a physical attack buff of 20%, as well as even the damage taken reduction, which is 20%. You even get physical damage um, bonuses from this skill as well. So there's different extra, you know, buffs that you're able to gain with this match, um, as well as talents. So we're going to try and basically see what we're able to strip, because what we're able to do is basically trigger this as numerous amount of times in obviously the footage that's going to appear now. So as you'll see, all we're doing is literally hitting each other as often as we can, but we're hitting the button. And the only thing I will say, I wish the dagger of betrayal had a better almost animation even if it was just like a small dagger that just rained and hit the march at least you knew it obviously triggered because there's no real knowing that you've done it apart from the guy or your march have the speech bubble appear so that's one little thing i will admit so now if we go into the actual battle log now we can break down into all of these different things right because we see how quickly we're able to look at this we have a legion attack buff and our enemy has a legion attack buff and if you notice now from activating my artifact i'm able to restrict the actual enemies legion attack by 2.5 percent so you can see that instantly disappear and we can obviously justify this when we go on and my madeline has activated the dagger betrayals sermon's force and i have removed the attack bonus effect that was this um dispelled so that was a really cool effect and the cool thing is when we go back into the battle log you'll notice like i say we were both doing this so you can see even for his march You'll notice I have Legion attack here, and then boom, my Legion attack has been disappeared, right? But the one thing that I noticed through all of these testing is the fact that when I do activate a lot of these, you know, buffs, you will be, you know, caught out of what's been there and what's not there, right? So here you can see all of these buffs, and when I activate it the turn before, you'll notice there's not much change, and then boom, again, there's not much difference that you can see and when we go into the actual artifact itself what happened was we actually dispelled another attack bonus but then 
His unit used Blessed Blade, so he just kind of mistimed that, and obviously gained his physical attack bonus anyway from his increase, right? And we can see this going through all the way, all the way, and I don't know how good this is going to be in the long term of the game, because you can see a lot of the time, I'm not going to lie, all of these type of dispels on the Madeline, that is, and the Garwood March, is always dispelling the attack. Oh, so let's go into the next report that we've done in the next battle of our testing for the Dagger of Betrayal. And here we go, we've done even a Goresh Skogel one like we would imagine. And what I'm aiming obviously to do with this is either strip off the Goresh's damage taken reduction or obviously the Skogel's HP buff or any of those type of buffs, right? Because if we go into them and we just look at the first skills and this is all we care about, we have a 50% physical attack bonus and that damage taken reduction is 15%. We have also on this one a 15% HP bonus and then and obviously the sixth um, duration we still use the same so we're going to try and time it again for both players when we are doing this testing um, and when we're going to go down you'll notice again i get to activate this really really quickly we'll get to see the enemy boom you can see i hit something but he gains um a really cool buff anyway i dispelled some sort of attack bonus but he gains it back straight away so that's one thing that i was kind of you know uncertain about but then we get into this one again and this is where it kind of get insane because goresh activated the dagger of betrayals sermon's force and madeline's shield effect was dispelled Meaning, as soon as I activated like my 1200 shield, he dispelled and actually took off my shield. So he can hit shields and different buffs like attack and HP. It is purely random. Even though so far we have seen more attack buffs being removed, you can see the Goreshia actually removing my Madeline's shield, which is kind of disgusting when you think about it, because that's how I tank in the game. Here you can see again, we're going to use our Dagger Betrayal, and my enemy's Vigor was dispelled. So this might have been the Vigor from the Skullgull buff that he had, which is really cool. And then again, if we go further down, we'll see our enemy using his obviously um effect going a bit further down and again dispelling my shield effect so he was able to actually time this um well on my you know march dispelling my uh, shield and most likely dispelling something else let down the line which i think is insane and that just showcases again just as the footage is playing now the Goresh Skogel versus Madeline Garward as a march. So this Dagger Betrayal is so far showcased to be very, very powerful. And let's go into the next one where I wanted to take something even more insane that could be a potential uh, danger to even marksman players. And it's Syndron Fragar. And as you can imagine, Syndron Fragar have a really powerful buff. Both of them do. And I was wondering, is it possible to remove them? Because as we've seen in the last one, we was noticed my shield was able to be stripped. So if my shield is able to be stripped, is it possible to remove the rapid fire off this enemy's Syndron. Also, is it able to remove potentially the critical rate of 60% off the Frega? That is gonna be the question. So here we go, we go into the battle logs and we're gonna try and find out. We can see I trigger both my um, artifact, you know, um, skill and my skill damage. And we can see here all of the buff effects for our enemy and there is a lot of buff effects and when we go into it you'll notice we do hit something so when we go down and we roll all the way down our dagger betrayal did hit is syndrome's legion attack bonus so if we go down and we try and find where our enemy activated his artifact i don't think he actually activated it in this whole um one but if we go into my next one at least we can check again trying to use dagger betrayal 
we did remove the keen effect of Syndron's skill. So that means when he gets that skill effect from his skill 1 or even his skill 4, you are able to restrip off the keen effect, which is very, very important when it comes to, again, marksmen. Because this is what we're wondering, what are you able to obviously shred off your opponent? And we go again, and we can see a lot more is happening during this. When I activate my Dagger Betrayal, the Legion March Speed bonus effect was dispelled, which is even more impressive. The fact that they gained that range, um, maybe accumulation speed, they gained the March Speed bonus, maybe potentially from Talents or from their Frega. But now it's disappeared. It's been stripped away from them. So they're at the same speed. So again, just showcases, I'm not going to lie, this Dagger of Betrayal seems really good. It has a wide range of things you can hit so far. But you can see through here, the Dagger Betrayal now hitting again the keen effect of our enemy. And we obviously ended it there. So just showcases, look, we might be able to hit the rapid fire. We might need to do more tests. Maybe more of you guys can try and hit it and see because it is random as you can imagine. And I do assume if we can hit, for example, the keen effect of Syndrome's second side of his ability, but we can strip off, you know, my Madeline's shield, which is like the primary side of that skill effect. We should be able to do it, right, with the rapid fire in theory. But we keep doing more testing, we've done more tests again, we've done Bertrand and Toha, we've done Bertrand and Fear, and then we did another one because I didn't get the footage right for this, so I will showcase now the footage for Bertrand and Toha, nice and simple, this is the latest majors in the game that a lot of people are hoping to obviously do, and what the aim is with this is obviously to basically allow you to try and strip maybe Toha's passive of the balls or maybe you can strip off obviously the console marks of Bertrand meaning his hero skill damage is going to be reduced and he's not going to hit as hard when he goes to obviously spend them with his skill one trigger so that is the main reason why we were testing this going again into the legion buffs and just explaining this on you guys you can see this is what we're trying to get rid of make sure he's got no stacks from this second skill that is gaining these stacks technically as a buff. So we'll see if we can strip that. And again, this is a passive skill. So we wonder if this passive skill is able to be attacked by our um, dagger. So if we go into the battle log, let's find out. Because this is the one that I am actually blind on. I don't know anything about this one. I have kept this one a little bit more secret to myself to see if it does hit anything in crazy. But right now we can see we do just hit the attack bonus. So I don't know what that attack bonus is going to be. If we go into the battle log and check a turn before of this, we can see our enemies on 2.5%, still on 2.5%, and then it's disappeared, right? So it's gone here. So we can go again, and our enemy using his it is what it is, going all the way down. Now we get our second trigger. If we look around and check what it's disappeared this time, another at attack bonus was dispelled so you can see i don't know if it's just me or if it's maybe my march but i do get very more often than not the you know artifact does trigger but it always tends to hit the legion attack bonus right so if we go down again we can see my artifact casting on this turn go down here dagger betrayal the artifact skill damage dealt bonus effect was dispelled so that is interesting now so now this is what i mean this is a surprise to me because i was about to say it so far if we're gonna imagine like you roll the dice more times out of 10 it seems you're gonna dispel like an attack buff or a vigor buff or a defense buff on a more you know on a higher chance but there is still a chance it might be a little bit smaller to do additional effects so this is the artifact skill damage bonus effect was dispelled meaning i have believe i've just dispelled the mirage orb passive buff off this march which is insanely powerful if that is true if that is the one that i've hit and obviously it means his match isn't doing as much damage when he does go to trigger his Mirage Orb on it. And we've seen it now with the 
shield effect of Marlin, and now obviously here could be the mirage orb of this whole effect so it's really really interesting but i believe you can hit so much what do i believe is good i don't know i think it is a good eye fight it's like by the end of the line and this is going to be the last test i'm going to just showcase while the footage obviously is on the field which is just bertrand fear can we just hit the hero skill damage or can we hit fear's shield since we could take off my shield as madeline which is a very important thing so if we go into again the battle log we can find out all this information this is first look again for myself so we will soon see our enemy did cast his rage skill on this turn meaning he should have any of his extra damage and so forth so if we go in our dagger of betrayal artifact was on and guess what artifact skill damage dealt bonus effect was dispelled meaning we did reduce his mirage orb again but this time so much sooner which is a lot better for our march because then we can come down and we can see we are doing a second one this time our dagger betrayal does hit the attack bonus which i do suggest i think is just the higher chance it's gonna do and if we can time it a little bit nicer like this our guy can we get a really good dagger trail? There we go, we do. So our dagger betrayal does dispel Bertrand's hero skill damage del bonus effect. So yes, we can actually remove those console marks because that is what it is dispelling there, which is very, very important for our march, right? So if you are wondering what, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? Hopefully, I've answered your question because I'm not going to lie, guys. This Dagger of Betrayal in my eyes could be one of the best artifacts in the game when it comes to tempo stuff. Because if you're, you've got a third or fourth march on the battlefield and you're trying to basically be that supportive march, this is the perfect answer because you've got march speed so you can get in and out of fights. You get damage on it, which is really nice. But then you get like this insanely powerful, it seems, effect that allows you just to dispel you know enemy buffs like madeline shield like the console marks and then obviously any attack hp and defense steroids that we've been able to test and just strip them off your opponent and obviously this is only so much testing that i'm able to do obviously i wish i could do way more with the time i have and hopefully i can in the future but it just showcase look dagger betrayal don't sleep on this thing this could be a very powerful artifact and i'm even thinking of leveling it up myself and using it in the upcoming war in my uh, server so tell me what your thoughts about it dagger betrayal do you think it's good do you think it's bad are you surprised that i'm able to strip so much different buff effects including shields and even artifact buff effects like the mirage orb from the game or from your match shall i say and then tell me how you think, because I'm shocked. I'm honestly shocked about it, just probably as much as you are. So smash the like button and subscribe. My name is Mr. Sneaky, doing all the testing so you guys don't have to. And I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And until the next one, stay safe, guys. Stay sneaking. Peace out.